Hi everybody, welcome to Virtual Sunday School. Yes, that's right. Um, welcome to the clock scene basement. Welcome to my craft closet that we are just temporarily turning into our Sunday School corner. We borrowed some posters from church. Um, the biggest reason I, I borrowed them was because this middle one right here, the Lord your God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that is a little bit like what Pastor Linda was talking about in her sermon today with Psalm 23. So And it keeps falling down. Yeah, <laughs> it did. We had to tape it up with extra tape in the corners because it was so funny that of all those posters, that poster kept falling down, didn't it, Cowan? Yeah. Yeah. Dresden isn't helping with Sunday school tonight. He was getting a little too tired, and he needed to go hang out with Dad. So maybe and I wasn't. No, you were good. Yes, I was gonna. I did. I started SpongeBob Minecraft, and then I paused it so I came downstairs. Right. Yep. Exactly. Thank you for that a little TMI there, but whatever. Um. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna just do a a, a lesson. Um. It's going to be kind of makeshift, but something that you guys can do at home. So, um, Cowan, don't do that, please. So, what I would ask is, we're just going to read a story. And um, if you want to pause the video for just a second while I set up my phone, um, if you want to go and find some paper and a marker or a pencil so that um, we're going we're gonna to do a little hand tracing which I know we did a few weeks ago, but this is for kind of a different purpose. Yeah. So pause the video while I get my phone set up for the story and then bring back some paper and something to trace your hand with, okay? So you guys do that while I set up my phone. All right, whoop, sorry about my big hand in the way. So I brought a Spark Bible home um, there's a, there's a bunch of spark Bibles in the Sunday school room, the main Sunday school room. So, Ours. yeah. So if, if you, if parents, if you guys want to go grab a spark Bible, um, go ahead. If you, um, if you don't know the code to get into the church, just text me and I'll let you know what it is so you can go in and get, um, a Bible for the kids. So if you have one, you can go grab it. If you don't have a Spark Bible, just follow along. Now, the story that I'm going to read is not Psalm 23. The Spark Bible doesn't have any Psalms in it. So feel free to kind of review the verse that Pastor Linda had in her message today. We're just going to we're just going to read a story. It's called The Promise. Oops, sorry. It's called The Promise of the Holy Spirit. And it's a little bit similar. It basically is just talking about the promise that God is always with you. And uh, so let's just read it, okay? It says, The promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus lo loved his disciples. He knew he was going to heaven soon and wanted to make sure that they weren't afraid. Jesus and his friends sat down on the soft grass. Jesus said, it's important to remember all that I've taught you. Love God, love other people, and help each other. Remember, God is most important, and God will always love you. Jesus looked at each of his friends' faces. He cared so much for each of them. I promise I will always love you and everyone who comes after you. I won't be here much longer, but don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. Remember that part, okay, guys? God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. The Holy Spirit will help you and God's children forever. The disciples trusted Jesus and the promise that he made. So kind of like how Pastor Linda talked about... You want to sit down, please? How Pastor Linda talked about in her sermon today about how God is always with us. That's what Jesus was saying that day to the disciples. He was saying, don't worry. God's Holy Spirit will be with you always. 
All right. So one of the things, Calvin, can you sit down, please? Oh, that's good. Sit down, please. One of the things. Oh, when we're done, Mom, when we're done, can, I, can we get the stuff here? Yep. One of the things that Pastor Linda said today, do you remember when, if you watched the video, she had five words that she wanted us to remember? If you remember what those five words are, it, sa- it was, for God is with me. For God is with me. Okay? Yep. So let's say that. Can you say that, Cowan? For God is with me. Right. How many words is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, whoa, 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 seven, whoa, whoa. Eight. No. How many words? Not letters. How many words? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And how many fingers do you have? One. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> All right, so go ahead. And you guys can do this at home too, okay? So take your paper and put your hand down and then have mom or dad or big brother or sister or whoever, have somebody help you trace your hand. So I'm going to trace. I already know how to trace my hand. Okay, well put your hand down and then spread your fingers out so I can get a good hand for you, okay? So here we go. We're going to trace Colin's hand. With a red marker. That I picked. That he picked out. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're done. Okay. Nice. So let's finish that off. Okay, so there's Colin's hand. Ta da! All right, so Colin. Now, Uh-oh. Cowan, I know. <laughs> did we get it on? Wow, we did a good job getting that on all the fingers. Good thing it's washable. Okay, so now see here, see here where it says, "For God, God is with me. me." I want you to put each word in the finger. Okay. Okay. So you here you go. So you guys go ahead and do that too. Now that you have your finger, your hands drawn out. Like Cowan does, he's going to put, for God is with me. One know. word in each finger. I don't know if I can do four. You, don't, you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay. So everybody, there's no, no right or wrong here, guys. We'll just do whatever we can, okay? So yep. here's, let's not use the other color, Cowan. Let's use the uh, gold. Yes, use the gold. Oh, there went another poster. No! We'll just take it down for now. Yes, we'll take it down for yeah. now. All right. Sorry about this. I'm trying to put a cap on a marker. Okay. Can I see that? Yep. All right. So here we go, guys. If you're, if you're probably already ahead of us because we had a poster fall on our heads. Oh, dude, just, just a minute. Here. Don't start without me. I just need to, there's a, the cap fell down. Okay. Go ahead. Grab that cap. Okay. Here we go. For God is with me. Okay? Yep. For God is with me. Yep. So, what you can do with that is you can kind of think like God is always in your hands. He's always the right gold, there with the you. The gold almost looks like red. It does. Yes. So, when you're getting nervous... Or maybe you're sad or scared, or maybe you just don't know what to think. You can always look at your fingers and say, for God is with me. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay because you know why? For God is, can you, can you, can you, no, 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 that's not drinking water. Everything's going to be okay because for God is with me. Here, you do that, Come, put your hand out. Put your hand up. Can you say that? So, for for God God is with me. me. You guys try that at your house. Put your hand out, wiggle your fingers, and then say, for God is with me. 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 Isn't that cool? Uh Now, here's the thing, Cowan. I want to ask you a question. Where is God? Okay, but can you can you see him? No. So so because you can't see him, 
Does that mean he's not here? No. No, it doesn't. So I want to I want to ask you a question. Do you see this piece? Oopsie, that's not the right one. Let me see. Yep. Okay. Whoops. 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 Hang on. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. Okay. So you see this piece of paper? Yep. Are there any words on that piece of paper? Yes. No. Say no. No. <laughs> so this is a blank piece of paper, white. We, we now let's no, 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 no. Don't say anything. Just hush. Okay, so he saw me. Anyway, um, this is just a blank piece of paper. So this is kind of what this means is, so Colin, take your, take your paintbrush. Here, this one. Okay, get it wet. So here's my question. Is just because you can't see God, does that mean that he's not here? Yes. No, actually, the answer to that is no. Is no. just because you can't see him... Just because you can't see God, okay, start painting on this paper. What do you see here? I let see. me do it so I can. Let me do it. Hey, let, let me let mom do it just so I can kind of get it done here. And okay, because we have a lot of. All right, so I want to show you guys something. Just because you can't see God doesn't mean that He's not here. What letter is that? G. Mm-hmm. You can. See it because we wrote it on there. Yes. Yeah, so look at that. He's he, he was here the whole time. Even though we couldn't see him. Yes. Even though we couldn't see him. He was here the whole time. Because you don't have to see God yes. to know that God is with you. You don't have to see God to know that God is here. Because God is here every day, all the time, all the time, every day. God is here with you. Yep. If you're happy, God is here. If you're sad, God is here. Can you hold that paper for me, Colin? Yep. Just hold it down for me. Thank you so much, honey. If you're happy, God is here. If you're sad, God is here. And you know what else? What? If you're angry, God is here. God is here. If you're scared, yeah. God is Cuz there's some there's a lot of things going on right now in our world today yep. that are just kind of different than something we've ever gone through before. Sorry if my picture isn't great here, guys. We're trying to get that. That E doesn't want to show up very good right now. Yeah. There it comes. There we go. All right. I hope this message is getting across to you guys this morning. And I hope that you can look at this picture and you can understand that just because you can't see Jesus and you can't see God... He is here. He is here. Right? Yep. That's what that says. Right there. Sometimes it kind of dries out and we can't see. God is here. We dried it with white and we dried it with white and then we painted it. Yep. And then it came up. So if you guys want to try that at home, Get Cowan is telling you how we did it. We took a white crayon yep. and we wrote... And then you, when you paint over it, the letters show. Yep. But the message, yes. no matter how we did that, yep. the message is very important. When we first put that white piece of paper down, yep. you couldn't see anything. It was just white. Nobody was there. Nothing was there. And then when we painted, you saw that, you know what? The whole time, the whole time that we've been talking about Sunday school and the whole time... When we got the paints out, all of a sudden, boom. God is here. Yep. So you guys remember that, okay? Remember that through this week between... That between... God is here. Yep. Remember that this week between this Sunday school class 
and next Sunday. If you have times when you're at home or you're with your mom and dad, yep. or just wait, buddy, or you uh, you have some questions, uh -huh. just talk to God yep. and ask him questions and say, what do you think about this, God? What do you think I should do? Yeah, like, yep. You think so, buddy? Yep. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to our lesson today. I hope that our lesson helps you get through this week. And remember that God is here. And don't forget the other part too. God is here. Yes. And also never forget on those fingers. For God is with me. That's right. All right. Should we say God, God bless everybody, right? God bless everybody. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Mm-hmm.